If you struggle to stay consistent or you're neglecting other platforms that you want to be publishing to but you just can't find the time, or if you want to save a few bucks because you're currently paying for tools that you can get for free now, you can join popular content creators like Jenny Hoyos, Armchair Historian, and even Mark Rober to get the most out of every video you publish. And look, even if you tried this when it first came out, it is light years better now and it has a lot more features. Let me show you. First, we're going to talk about the updates that have happened and all the things that are available for you inside of the main tool. And then we're going to talk about some tools that they're giving you for free that you're probably spending money for right now. I'll put timestamps in the video, so just in case you're already familiar with the updates that I'm talking about, you can jump straight to those. If you're not familiar with Opus Clip, let me tell you what it does. So what you can do is you can take a link to any of your long form videos on YouTube and you can drop it into their system. And when you do that, what's going to happen is their system is going to use AI to find the best parts of your video and it's going to give you a bunch of clips from that long form video that you can then upload into whatever social media platforms that you want. They also have it to where if you have a long video or live stream, then you can take that link, drop it in there, and it will give you mid-form clips, which is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio video, or a regular video is what we call that, and you can make that video up to 15 minutes in length. It's pretty incredible. People are using this to publish content onto social media platforms that they otherwise would have ignored. In addition to that, they're using it to stay consistent on their YouTube channels and other platforms, and they're using it to create entire social media accounts based around individual super niche topics, which is pretty cool. In case you haven't used it before Opus Clip is dead simple. All you have to do is go to your YouTube video that you want to share. You can grab the link up here at the very top, or you can just grab it from the share link down here at the bottom. You hit copy, and then you go back to Opus Clip, and then you drop in the link right here. Now, you can drop in a link from any social media platform. You can do Zoom links, you can do Twitch, anywhere, and it's going to be able to clip up your content for you, which is amazing. But one thing that I want to bring your attention to is this area right here. So you can see here that they do long form to short form content. They do AI captions, which is cool. They have a built-in video editor now. You can enhance your speech. You can do an AI reframe of your videos. So if you don't like exactly where everything is in the frame, you can change that. You have B-roll now, and you can also have it help you with a hook. But let's get into the details and let me show you all of the things that have changed with this. Okay, so the very first thing I wanna bring your attention to is the asset library. So with the asset library, Right here, you have a censored words list. So with the censored word list, what you can do is you can upload any words that you just don't want appearing in your short or long form content when it's clipping your content. Next, you have the brand vocabulary. So in my case, I use Nimenati a lot. So since I use Nimenati a lot, sometimes captioning services or just captioning even on YouTube, it'll say Illuminati for whatever reason. So because of that, what I can do is I can add Nimenati here. So then when it detects that, it'll be more clear for the system. In addition to that, you can upload any type of fonts that you want. I personally just use the default fonts and you can upload media. So with this media, you can even upload videos that can be used as B-roll. You can upload audio. So if you want sound effects or something like that, and you can upload images as well. For me personally, I just let their AI B-roll take care of it if I use B-roll in it. But because I'm doing talking head content, I usually don't need it too much because I'm just trying to focus on what it is that I'm saying or I already have screenshots attached to the clip. Next up is the calendar. So how the calendar works is a lot of people will pay for services to publish their content on the internet for them. With this, all you have to do is go to schedule post. You pick one of your pieces of content that you clipped, choose the clip, and then here we're gonna select this, and then you select what social media platforms that you want it to go out to. Their system is going to go ahead and create a description for you, and it's going to add relevant hashtags based on what it detects from your content, and it's gonna do this for each individual platform. Of course, you can modify any of those descriptions or hashtags, you can completely remove them if you want to, totally your call. But once you have it all the way that you want, you can either just publish it straight out, or you can hit select time, and then you can say, let's say I want this one to go out on Friday, then I can select the very specific time that I want this to publish, and then their system is going to publish it to that platform for me. Next, they've added a little bit of analytics. Now, in transparency, they have a lot of work to do on this particular page, but it does give you some interesting insights. So you can see, for example, on the accounts that I have connected where I've been publishing with Opus, you can see that I've gained 28,000 account views in the last seven days. I've gained 793 likes and 78 account comments and 290 
97 shares. And if you look at the green here, you can see we are on the rise, baby. Yeah. Okay, so next, let's go in and take a preview of the editor. So one of the things you're going to see here is you're going to see that I have some just raw clips that I've uploaded here, just raw shorts. And with these, you can do this where you drop links in here, but you can also upload just raw files if you want, or you can have it pull files in from a Google Drive. So because of that, I've uploaded these as well, and you can do quick edits. If you're just sitting there and you're talking to the camera, you can use this as your full editor if you want to for your clips. We'll come back to that, but for now, we're gonna go into one of the regular videos. Okay, so as you can see, if you've used this before, it used to be to where you just had this list option right here, which is cool, but you know, if you are getting 50 clips out of your content like I am, then you know, it can create quite the scroll. So because of that, they have a grid view now to where you can just see things a little bit, you know, a little bit easier. Now, one thing I wanna share with you real quick in terms of how smart Opus Clip system has gotten, you can see here in the videos where I'm streaming with my brother D, how it separates our footage and it'll show me here and it'll show D here or vice versa in some cases. It's also gotten really good about screen sharing. So you can see in this clip where I'm you know, looking at the screen and I'm talking about somebody's channel and it has their channel up here and then it also has me down here in the bottom. So it's pulling in the screen and it has me in there so that it's positioning everything right in the frame to where when they first launched, to be honest, that particular thing didn't work that well. Now they have it locked in and it's awesome. But if we click into one of these, I'm gonna click edit clip over here. So you can see over here on the left, they have a text editor on this side, which is something that they had before, but this is better now too. And they have an editor down here on the bottom as well, where you can edit individual parts of the clip if you would like. So when you're editing by this, all you have to do is you can click on it and you can have it to where it will start here or it'll stop here or it'll remove that caption. Um, it's completely up to you in terms of how you use this. But if you look here where it says add a section, you can click on this and this is a new thing as well. So let's say that you like this clip, you wanna use the clip, but you're like, man, that hook could be stronger. And I know I said something earlier in the clip that I'd be able to use for that hook. Then you can just go in there and grab it which is easy and it'll make the clip even better if you know how to reach your audience at the beginning of your videos. And then if you look right down here, you can see that we have the same exact thing down here where you can add a section at the end as well. So let's say you have a little sign off that you wanna do or you just have something that you do at the end of your videos, you can just go grab that and just pull it right into this right here. Now, another thing I wanna show you that's also new is depending on the platforms that you're uploading to, some platforms will penalize your content if you use swear words in there. So for those platforms specifically, if you want to, one of the things that you can do is you can come up here and you can click into your transcript area and you can click on the little three dot menu over here and you can come down here to where it says censor words. Now, one of the cool things here is once you hit this, you can say, I want it on this word in particular, or I want it in all instances of this word. And then what's going to happen is Opus Clip is going to censor that on your behalf so that you have to go in there and manually do everything. So it makes that part faster as well. For the editor itself, it's basic, but it's really simple and it'll get the job done. So all you have to do here is if you go to the playhead, you can move this to any area that you want. So if I wanna cut out this particular part then I can just click there hit this little split icon move it forward to the part where we start talking again hit the split icon again click it delete and that's done and you can do that as many times as you need to throughout the clip if we come over here to the AI enhance this is where it starts getting really cool so right over here you can see the remove pauses so if we look down here at the timeline you can see that there's some blank spots in here so if I hit remove pauses boom now all of the pauses are gone. If I wanna remove filler words, then I can tap on that and it'll remove filler words like ums, ahs, that sort of thing. Next, we have the speech enhancement. With this, it just makes your audio sound better. So if your videos have a really low volume, then it's not gonna do that good. But as long as your videos have actual real volume to them, this will make your voice sound better. Personally, I don't turn this on because D and myself, we process our audio before it even goes into the microphone. So I leave that one off personally, but it is something that you can use if you have a lot of background noise and things like that. Next, Opus Clip also auto-generates AI B-roll for you. Now with this particular one, all you have to do is click on it and then it'll start looking for places within your video that make sense to add B-roll. As you can see right down here on the timeline, we have some AI B-roll there. We have some AI B-roll that it's added here and some AI B-roll that we've added here. It looks pretty good too. Next, we have the option to auto-generate AI hooks. Now look, if you are talking in your videos, then in that case, you don't wanna use this. But if you're making another type of content to where you know maybe you are using an AI voice or something like that, then this would help you there. But if you're talking in your videos, just go ahead and use your own voice or clips from other parts in your video like I showed you a minute ago. Use that instead of this particular feature. But it's there for those of you that need it. So you also have the AI emoji, which is where it will put emojis within 
within the context of your captions. It has the AI keywords highlighter, and it also has auto transitions. And with the keyword highlighter, just in case you're not familiar with Opus Clip, you can see over here how the word search is read. So if I click on that, then it takes me to that part in the video and you can see that it's underlined that particular word. Another really cool new feature that they've added is right up here, they have the tracker. So if you turn this tracker on, this is great for like sports content or anything where there's actual motion going on. When you turn this on, it'll actually track your subjects, which is really cool. All you have to do is select the subject, which is my beautiful bald head, and then hit track and Opus Clip will do its thing. Now, just in case this is your first time learning about Opus Clip, another thing I wanna show you real quick is you can double click into your actual clip itself and you can move these things around. So if you're like, hey, I'd like it better if it's just a little bit wider, kind of zoom me out a little, you can do that sort of thing. You can change the aspect ratio as well. Then you just hit apply and then it's gonna make that adjustment. So another thing that's really cool and I can't remember remember if this was in the original version or not, but when you come up here and you click on the layout split, what you can do is, let's say I wanted to focus on just me for this part of the conversation. I can hit fill and then it's just gonna focus on me. Or I can come down here and hit fit and then it's gonna zoom out. This is really cool. So if you wanted to grab your captions and move them down into an area like this or something like that, you can do that sort of thing here really easily in the editor as well. But it gives you a lot of flexibility in that regard. Now, of course, as always, you've been able to customize the actual captions themselves. They give you a whole panel here where you can make all of these adjustments to make it exactly how it is that you want. You can also have your own brand colors in here, which is fantastic. And you have an effects panel now for your captions. So here you can have it auto select where they go. You can tell it to go in the top, in the middle, the bottom. You can tell it what type of animation that you want. And they've added some options in here, but they have all kinds of really fun things that you can do in there to make your captions more interesting as well. Another cool thing that they have now as well is they have the brand templates. So once you do set all of that up and you have it exactly how you want, what you can do is you can actually go into your brand template. You can set it up however it is that you want with your captions, your brand colors. You can add shadows and outlines to your words and things like that. Like you can really go all out here when it comes to customizing this. And then whenever it is that you need it, once you have it set up, you just select it and it'll apply it automatically to your video. And one more big upgrade that they've made is they also have now to where you can export an XML file. So you can export this to Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. Um, and I think you can do it in Final Cut as well. But what this does is it gives you the option to just download all of the content from it, and then you can make any fine adjustments that you need to make in your video editing software if you want to. Now, those of you that have stuck around for this part of the video, I'm about to show you something really cool that the people that went ahead and skipped to the free stuff, they're gonna miss out on, and this part is awesome. Okay, so once you have your link in here and it pulls your clips, if you scroll down, you have these options for clip length and things like that, but if we scroll down here, this box, where it says include specific moments, this can be really powerful. And when I first started this video, one of the things that I mentioned was that content creators are using this to create entirely new accounts all over the internet to where they're focusing on singular topics because the way the algorithms are working now, everything is really topic-based. So as an example, let's say I wanna make an entirely different account where D and I are just talking about movies. Then for every live stream that I upload into this, what I can do is I can say, find the part where we're talking about movies. And then their system is going to isolate isolate those very specific parts when it's making the clips. And then I can save those into a folder and then I can start an entirely new YouTube account or TikTok account or Instagram or whatever, where it's just Ian and I talking about movies. And then I can reach people that maybe aren't interested in YouTube, but they like movies. And then they get to jump in on those conversations as well. A lot of people are doing this right now. This box right here, it allows you to do that. And that is part of their Clip Anything feature. So they have Clip Basic, which is just the clips, and then they have Clip Anything, where you can start getting into the extreme details like that, to where you can really get the most out of every video or live stream that you publish. Now let's talk about the free stuff. So when it comes to Opus Clip, even in the main clipping tool, you can get up to 60 minutes of free clipping per month with that free tool. It does come with some things, like you're gonna have a watermark on it, but you get the clips. That also gives you a chance to try it out if you're somebody that's like, hey, that looks pretty cool. Uh, I wonder what it would be like with my content. It's perfect for that. In addition to that, the next free tool that you might be paying for, because I know there's apps that you pay for that do this. I know there's services that you pay for that do this. But if you're paying for captions, Opus Clip has a free captioning tool and it works in a similar way to where you drop your video in there and then Opus is going to give you captions on that video. This is great for people that make vertical content on their phone because you can just upload the video here or you can drop a link into it if you have the video unlisted and then Opus Clip will be able to caption it for you and you can download it and then re-upload it to whatever service it is that you're putting it on.
For this one, you want to go to opus.pro slash tools slash opus clip hyphen captions. The next tool is a free AI thumbnail maker. Now, when it comes to this, some things to think about is if you are somebody that has trouble coming up with really good thumbnail ideas, or you're just like, man, I don't even know where to start when it comes to making thumbnails. This will help you come up with ideas because you can just drop a link to your video here and then it's going to use opus clips technology to look through that entire video and it's going to visually represent what it thinks that video is about. So all you have to do to use this is go to YouTube, click on this little three dot menu, hit the share link, or just grab the link to the video from anywhere that you can. And then you come here and then you just drop it in and then hit get free thumbnail. After about three minutes, this is what it came up with. So you can see here that it definitely detected that I had something to do with YouTube. It was talking about growth, has a YouTube logo on there and put a play button, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's got a little camera over there for me, some microphones. So no, it's not perfect, but this is a great place to get inspiration. And this is as bad as this is ever gonna be. But anyway, you can check this one out at clip.opus.pro slash YouTube hyphen thumbnail hyphen maker. And of course, I'm gonna put a link to this and everything that I've talked about today down in the video description, or you can head over to tryopusnow.com. That'll hook me up with an affiliate commission, or you can just head over to opus.pro. Now, if you want to see more YouTube tools that can help you in other ways with your YouTube channel, click into this playlist right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.